Good day, everyone. My name is Mike Schertz, and what are we going to talk about today? Well, today we're going to help you understand your estimates while you are in the trial period. We're going to do that through our usage estimator page. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. So here I am. I'm in my user interface. Across the left here, which I call my navigation bar, down around here I have one that says account settings. If I expand that, I see an option for billing and usage. Clicking into there will take me into my billing and usage page. Across the top here, I have one that says usage estimator. This is where we're going to spend our time today. We're going to go to our usage estimator page and we are going to play around with our usage. On the right side here, I have a box. This tells me what my estimated monthly cost is currently. It tells me how much MAR I have used. And again, what is MAR? MAR stands for monthly active rows. These are rows that we have inserted, updated, or deleted through the connectors to your destination. And I can see what my spend rate is. Currently, it's $557.28. I also have a chart across here that gives me what my spend rate is. And I can take my mouse and I can put it inside this chart. If I move it to the left of where I'm currently at, my monthly spend will go down because I'm pushing less data. But if you look, my spend rate will go up. Same thing on the other side here. If I push more data through, my monthly cost may go up, but my spend rate will go down. What this tells me is that as I push more data through my pipelines, my per unit cost will actually go down. We also have a couple drop downs over here. We have annual contract pricing and we have monthly pricing. Now, monthly pricing gives you the flexibility of paying month by month with a credit card. But if you want to pay upfront annually, look what you're going to get. You are going to get a discount. So we're going to keep this one checked for now. This other drop down gives us our different plans that we offer to you. Our most common plan is the standard plan, and that's what we're going to select here. Again, it does cost a little bit more, so my price was reflected in my estimated monthly cost. Now, how can I play around with this to get an idea of what happens as I add and remove different things, such as connectors, tables, or, you know, I have a business, I expect it to grow, if I expect my MAR to go up. So, I've selected the Buy Connector button right here, and I can see all my different connectors. If I want to see how much a connector is actually going to cost me, let's choose this one, this Facebook one. If I deselect it, Okay, I can see that reflected in my planned usage, and I can see that my cost actually went down by 7.5%, and that's reflected over here. Now, my cost went down by 7.5%, but look at this. My spend rate, it did go up. I'm pushing less data, so my spend rate went up inside there. Now, I was going ahead and removing this connector from the screen here. Do keep in mind, this is only the estimator screen. If I truly wanted to remove this connector, I would have to go to the setup and I'd have to delete it completely that way. This is just for estimating purposes. Please keep that in mind. So I can add this back and I can see it's everything's reflected back into there. Now I can go into this connector and I can see the tables that I'm replicating. This is very useful. I don't want to replicate tables that I don't have to replicate. Or maybe I have tables that you know maybe don't need to be replicated all the time. And I can go ahead and select and deselect these tables. For example, this reach frequency. This seems to be a big table. If I don't need it, I can go ahead and remove it and see what my estimates are going to be. Again, I'm only removing these for the estimate part. If I truly wanted to remove this table, I'd have to go into the setup and remove the table that way. But I can see my MAR has greatly diminished here. And if I use these tables now, my MAR has gone down over here. And I can see that reflected in a 5.4% decrease. But again, you know, my unit cost went up. My spend rate went up that way. Let me add this table back in. Now, if I wanted to just manually edit this connector completely, not at the table level, I can do that here. Let's go ahead and let's 10 times this volume. All right. As you can see, it's reflected up here and it's reflected in my planned monthly cost. My planned monthly cost did go up. But look at the difference in my spend rate. My spend rate down quite dramatically. And then finally, I have my edit the total MAR. If I click in here, now I'm editing my total MAR for all the connectors. Let's go ahead and 10 times this one. As you can see, this is reflected over in my spend rate chart over here. My cost did go up, 
but look at the drastic decrease in my spend rate. Again, as I push more data through, per unit cost, it will go down. It's always advantageous to push more data. All right, so let's push this back here. So you can see, guys, as we've been playing around with our estimator, it gives me a good idea of what I'm doing or what I'm going to be spending here. I can see what my monthly estimate cost is. I can adjust it by total amount, total MAR, or I can do it by connector, or if I want, I can do it at the table level. All right, guys, so what are your next steps now? Well, if you enjoyed this automated data movement, you can purchase Fivetran and keep this data flowing. Just go to your billings tab here. All right, and choose your plan. Now, if your usage is below 500,000 MAR, I would select a free plan to start with because then you don't need a credit card. Now, if you have any other questions or you want to learn more about this, please go to our fivetran.com slash pricing webpage and you can read up on it a little bit more. <music>